okay now let's try to connect to pc and here you need this kind of wire this usb port to the hand controller in this port and connect this to your pc now let's try to go to pc mode so I yeah, set some latitude longitude you can use the uh, <coughs> internet or your mobile to find your latitude longitude also the elevation so set the time so don't want to do this now don't want to align also okay now use this up and down So go to utilities, enter, so we want to have PC direct mode and press enter. Okay, then that's all. Now we <coughs> will install some drivers in our machine. So normally before so you have installed the driver or before you have connected uh, to your PC you should see under COM port some entries and when you connect um, the USB to your PC and install the driver you should see one more entry here and that's your uh, telescope port so now we will uh, try to connect our PC with the sync scanner hand controller so for that we have to install a couple of softwares uh, first thing you have to install is ascom standard or ascom platform just go to this website uh, i will add this uh, link to the description and download it with this right hand link once you download this you have to now <coughs> install another software and this is the software you have to install uh, which is the iki mode here click downloads then you go to source force and now <coughs> you need to install EQ ASCOM this thing and ASCOM pad so there will be lots of versions if you click here try to download the latest one and same for the as compat download the latest one and once you download it install both software then after installation which i have already done uh, you now open you open the eq mode tool uh, in the admin mode so you go to this toolbox after you have installed this I open as an administrator I tried without administrator didn't work for me so I run as administrator so now it opened <coughs> And you should also see similar dialog. First thing you do is click register successful. Then you click driver setup. Takes a while to open the dialog. Then you should see something like this. For you, uh, this entry should be empty. For me was also empty since I already installed it and had set up earlier so you can see this field value but for you it will be empty and if it is empty then try to enter these values as you see in the screen so timeout is 2000 re-entry to about 9600 and for the port uh, use COM3 <coughs> for you it could be different port uh, how you find the port is uh, do following 
So, you go to my computer or this PC, click manage. Then go to device manager and open this. So, here you see there is some entries, maybe you have several entries there. Now, what you want to do is connect the USB cable from your sync hand scan controller to your PC, which I will do now. And before you do this, uh, make sure that uh, your sync scan hand controller uh, has PC direct mode. So you go to this setting, uh, then go to utility uh, in the sync hand uh, scan controller and select PC direct mode as shown earlier. Now I connect to my laptop, then yeah, now you see this new entry there, COM3 under ports. And this is exactly what you should select. So what I normally do is click this find icon, then it will find automatically. If it is different value or empty value, just choose from the list, COM3. For you, maybe COM4, COM5, it depends on your PC. Then the next thing you have to fill is the site information. So you can use some online uh, website or your handy with some app to find your latitude and longitude. Fill this value. There I noticed like if by mistake or due to some reason you have value more than 60 and you try to click OK, it will say invalid parameter. For me, it took a while why it was invalid parameter. So I just have the correct value here now. which is less than 60, then put some elevation there. If you have GPS uh, hardware, also you can use this to get automatically. Put some name, then yeah, then you click OK. Then this should go away. OK, now back to this toolbox. Now after you are doing, uh, done with the driver setup, you click ASCOM Connect. I click this, takes a while to open the dialog. Okay, now it's there. Now you get this small pad where you can see different values uh, from your <coughs> from your mount. And if your mount is connect, uh, co uh, correctly connected, then this button should be enabled. And this is the button you are interested on, spark and on park. When you uh, use Celarium, then you have to make it on park. Okay, now that's all for uh, the toolbox. Now we open Celarium also in admin mode. Let's do this. So I'll go to Celarium, run as administrator. Takes a while. Okay, now I open the scenarium. Now what you want to do is go to your left hand panel, click configure and there go to plugins, scroll down under telescope control, make sure lower ready startup is enabled. Then go to remote control, also make sure the lower ready startup is enabled. And for you, this would be disabled. Now, after enabling both, you restart your uh, Celarium. So I again open it, run as administrator. Okay, <coughs> now it opened. Now go to the same place. And here, go to remote control. Now for you, this should be enabled and click configure. And here enable both tick mark 
and also the port you can leave as it is if you don't use 8090 port click save setting then close this window now go to the bottom panel and there is this telescope icon click there click configure telescope uh, since i already had configured earlier you see an entry for now i will delete this and recreate one so you click this add button and here you want to select ascom because we are using ascom uh, platform this is your na name of the telescope and here leave, is, leave uh, the coordinate system as default and now you want to choose your ascom telescope from the drop down uh, i select this eq mode ascom for me it worked though i have eqm 35 uh, looks like it also works for 35 though it here it's mentioned five and six so i click this click property okay device is already connected click ok now I click OK and scroll down and yeah everything is fine click OK OK now you'll see this new entry here for new telescope the status is disconnected and if everything is fine your wires are working properly everything connected to laptop then you click connect so if everything is fine then it should be connected the status now let's close this and now you can uh, try to find where your telescope is pointing in solarium okay here is the thing where your telescope is pointing at the moment since it's daytime that's why you won't see any object in solarium but when you are doing the same thing at night you will see lots of stars so you can slew to lots of objects but since it's daytime there is no more object apart from sun so i will use sun to show the slew process so you click the sun and one thing always make sure that you don't watch sun through your telescope never do this also don't use camera if you don't have any solar filter because it will destroy your sensor of your camera if you watch with your eye also it will make you blind so don't do this uh, i don't have any telescope mounted at my mount so i'm doing this just for the demo purpose so i click sun then i say current object now this is a coordinate and i want to say slew and if you click this then <coughs> your telescope should uh, now point uh, towards sun now let's try it ah first thing you have to uh, <coughs> unpark make sure you have unparked your telescope if it is in parked state then you have to click on park then you will see this is unparked so now the parking status is not parked and you should see all this coordinate okay now let's do slew and now, and now you can see the telescope is moving And these are the gears. Now, if you want to bring your comp uh, your uh, telescope or mount back to the home position, then click park. Then, yeah, 
your mounts would come back to the home position.